Where does a 500 pound sea lion sleep? At San Francisco's Fisherman's Wharf, just about anywhere it wants. What have you learned about sea lions watching them here? Well, so far they've outwitted me, so. <laughs> For months, Edley Prince has been trying to stop sea lions taking over a dock used by fishermen and pleasure boaters. No trespassing, the sign says. That's correct. What are they doing here? <laughs> well, they don't read. <laughs> Prince has good reason to worry. He's seen how they've taken over further down Fisherman's Wharf at Pier 39. I've never seen so many, and there's like a boom in the population of them now or something. In 1950, there were only about 10,000 sea lions on the West Coast. Today, their population is estimated at 300,000. Pier 39 alone is home to some 1,500, up from the few dozen that moved here in 1990. It's fascinating. I love it. <laughs> the noisy invaders proved such a hit with tourists. Pier 39 merchants have done nothing to chase them away. But for others on the bay, sea lions have become a nuisance, demanding constant vigilance. All along the West Coast, fishermen complain about their big appetite for already dwindling salmon. Although they're trespassing, the law is on their side. The Marine Mammal Protection Act makes it largely illegal to even bother these guys. If we were being infested by slime eels, people wouldn't care what we did to them. But because these things are cute, you know, got whiskers and big brown eyes, you know, we're, we're pretty limited in what we can do. What he has done is put up some barriers to discourage the sea lions. But in the battle against these blubbery beasts, it's a small victory along an ever more crowded shoreline. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.